Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. My last episode was the modern house, which took quite a long time to build and film. So I said I was going to do something a bit simpler. But it's never really simple with me, is it? So um, today I am doing the tiny Scandi cottage. I did say I might build a cottage and this is inspired by little red cottages that you find in Sweden. I've never actually seen one in real life, I've never been to Sweden, but uh, Pinterest was very helpful. So I'll give you a quick tour. We are in the Savage Divide, I thought it would be a good idea to go somewhere where there were pine trees and conifers um, as opposed to the forest. We are just down the road from Middle Mountain Cabins and Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. The nearest railway station is White Spring, so it's fairly central um, and has a lot of good resources around. I have kind of built a flower garden here and there are a few crops in here. I have managed to put my meat fruit in pots again. I actually did it using a rug. I put the meat fruit down and then put a rug, uh, put a flower pot on a rug and slid it across. And because of everything else, the rugs are pretty well hidden. I use the slightly scrappy looking um, fences, white picket fences for this. This is on uh, Route 104 West. I have put a little 104 above the door. <laughs> the fence quite simple. I have put a guitar out here and I've put these little uh, lanterns, the firefly lanterns which were from season two I think. It looks nice at night. One of the things I often see in camps is people don't put rooms in, or not often. You see very large camps with no rooms and that always strikes me as a little odd. So believe it or not, I've managed to get four and a half, maybe five rooms out of this tiny little cottage. So, so this is the hall. What I've done with this cottage actually is there is no upstairs. I created this sort of high ceiling to make it look a bit more spacious and put extra light in with the windows. These are the doors from the circus trailer. I did make it quite girly. This is for a single woman. <laughs> the bathroom is through this curtain. Sometimes you'll find if you put a curtain above a doorway that you it's easier to go through sideways because you can sometimes get stuck. Tiny little bathroom with just a toilet and sink. Now because of the offset for this and the way the roof slope, there is not a bit of wall above that. It's pretty much a small partition. This is the sitting room. And the kitchen diner, well, the kitchen breakfast bar. <laughs> and again, you have this window here. You can sit here and listen to the radio or read a book if you want. I did try and keep it some sort of Scandinavian elements like the door and the 
decor but it, it it a lot of scandinavian stuff is very white and pale wood which i just don't have the the pieces for but i'm quite happy how it turned out i've used a lot of these shelves above doorways this area where i built was very rough and I've had to put a lot of confetti and things down under the foundations. I would have liked a more natural looking garden, but there's lots of rocks and tree stumps here. There's a full vegetable garden, so you can make soup and juice. And I use these awnings at the back. And there's little window boxes. This area of the garden is more utilitarian. I have chickens here. Water butts. And I actually used the seedy shed to put the workbenches in. I put my camp widget here because it blocks things from getting up here. And the same on this side. I actually used the little, the new water purifier. I mean, if you wanted to build this in a different location where it was very flat then you might be able to get a sort of more gardeny garden I guess grass and maybe get your Brahmin out and yes there is no bath in the house but if you've not been up here before there is a little lake here <laughs> so you can wash in the lake if you want I have actually built up here before but it was prior to Wastelanders and I actually built here but unfortunately now, now people have come back to this area they all want to be setting up places like foundation I have a neighbor I do like building by the side of roads because it makes it look like the house should be there so the sign was slightly annoying um, you have to make sure that you build back far enough that you can get the uh, fences on and that it's not blocking the entrance. But I think it worked out okay. So I'll show you how to build it. So it's early morning and I've moved my camp widget and put it back. What you can't tell from this shot is that this area is normally littered with rocks and tree stumps. And they're not showing at the moment because the camp was previously here, so the bulldozer effect is still in effect. But if you don't clear the, the ground properly, even if it looks like it's clear now, when you come back, when you log back in, there will be a dozen rocks sticking through your floor. I'm going to start with the foundations. Um, as always, I am going to line one up with the line on the road. But I am going to move it back. Because of this. Um, now at the moment that would be in the middle of the entrance. So I'm now going to move it to the side a bit. Probably go a little bit further over. I will take this one out when the build is finished.
have put an extra row on this side. It's for a ladder, which will become apparent as we build. As you can see, there are things sticking through. Sometimes you just can't tell whether something's going to stick through. The easiest thing to do is take up the floor piece. And put some confetti down. If it doesn't go, then just take a few more floor pieces up. It always seems to be that things that stick through quite often stick through on corners as well, so... And you will notice that other things appear. This one is not going away. <laughs> I quite often, with an area like this, I pretty much do the whole area if I can. This is the garden area, the porch and the house. So we are going to double wall the house I use these pieces because of the white windowsills we'll need a floor on the back with the double wall effect I didn't actually double wall the sides I used the brick walls just for a bit of contrast and it's a little bit easier if you want to double wall the whole thing then and I'm also going to put in the internal walls I use the barn set because it gives you a nice white door surround without it being over empowering or overpowering I mean you're basically creating a one square hall, two squares for the bedroom, one for the kitchen area and two for the sitting room. I'm going to change these to windows as I go in case it's a little bit confusing so you can get a better, I better idea of the layout of the house. I'll put the porches on last. I'm going to leave this uh, as a door for now. And the house is going to be this red colour. Right, to get the walls on the upstairs, I'm going to put a staircase up. 
and put floors up, but these will be temporary. I do use survival syringes on my building characters. Right, because we're going to double wall up here, we need to um, put an extra piece of floor on the other side there. And to visualize it, pretty much what we're going to do is just build a rectangle of half floors around here. And then we're going to flame a trap them. Going to make this one a window. Before I repair these, there is also one in the middle here. It did occur to me, if you don't have marsupial and can't jump out of this gap, you could always put a stash box down. You'll be taking the floors off and the stash box will disappear when you take the floors off. around and repair these walls. Uh, this one I made it a wall but it needs to be a window like the other one. The other thing I did um, was before you get out of here, before you come down, make sure that you put the wallpaper on and I used the red again. If you want it the same as the downstairs, then obviously do that. I'll hop over here. Repair. Again, I made that one. Oops, some wallpaper. Made that a. Uh, make sure they're the same, obviously. <laughs> Go to wallpaper. I don't know who convinced Bethesda to make the weather more realistic. To be honest, I've just about had enough of reality now. <laughs> it used to be you'd log into your server and it'd be nice and sunny and 11 o'clock in the morning and earlier on, I did log in, it was half past 11, it was raining and um,
I left it, left it 10 minutes, logged back, back in, it was 4 o'clock in the morning and raining. We're going to put the end pieces on. Red wallpaper. Now, you might have a problem taking these floors off, so the thing to do before you take the floors off is put the roofs on. I think I used the black one. Make sure they're the right way around. These roofs can be tricky and want to snap the wrong way around. But I think we're there. Just need to put some wallpaper on this piece. Right, we should now be able to remove. The floors. Obviously, you still need to do it in the order that they're put up because they need to be attached to the ladder. If you want to do the offset bathroom, um, we will need to turn this temporarily back into a doorway. I normally um, leave all my door doorways like this until I've pretty much finished the build. <laughs> and what we're going to do is what we did in the last video, which is offset this floor. I left that piece up there. But full piece, half piece, and then if you drop another ladder down, it will be offset by half. Use some of these pieces. that along because we need to double wall so you can see now the join here is halfway along And we can turn this back into a window. That's pretty much the house built. Um, I will give you a few quick tips on how to do a few other things. If you've never hung a curtain over a doorway, it's very easy. Um, if you select the wall and replace it with a window, Temporarily, obviously the barn don't have a window, but you can select a different wall type and then go 
go along to the wall dapple. Stick your curtains up. And just convert the wall back to a door. I think the only other thing in here that may be unknown to you is how to get the floating wall cabinets. And I learnt this trick off the uh, very wonderful Jessica Starr and I will put a link to her channel down below. to do is place your wall cabinet and place another one on top. Actually put that down there to stop it from trying to snap. I'm just going to do this quickly. So it's probably just going to set my OCD off, you know that, don't you? Right. Take the bottom one and move these out. And we're going to do a reverse merge. And the way to do this is to take your camp widget and place this on your camp widget like this and let go, press A, select I can't remember if I did 4 or 5, we'll do 5 there we go. remember how many you've done and you can put it back, pick the next one up the top ones will not snap to, snap to each other on top of the wall. Mm, that one doesn't match up. Sure I did fine. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't always seem to line up properly. It did last time I did it, but I've seen other people do it and it doesn't line up. So sometimes it may be a bit of trial and error with this. But this is how you get wall units on the wall. Obviously the garden was just a few more floor pieces down with fences around. It wasn't very complicated. And I took this piece up and I put the contemporary floors in here with the porch. They will snap to regular floors, so... I converted these to... crop plots, which, if you haven't noticed by now, yes, I got the crop plots on Scarlet. <laughs> corner pieces and I use these scrappy looking ones. 
I didn't put the conduits in the walls this time because I would have put them in the side but they're only single walls so what I actually did was I put them and I didn't think this would work and it probably won't work now I'm recording I put the conduits here put the roof off And I passed the conduits through there and I just put one down here on this corner of the roof and put the generators on top of the CD shed. And because the house is quite small, that actually covered the entire house for power. I will quickly show you the mute fruit trick with the mat. put the mute fruit down I got a doormat which I'm trying to make sure is actually above ground These plant pots, uh, pots actually come from the White Springs from Pendleton. They are plants, but there is one that is empty. And then I just got behind it. And there you have it. So here we have our Scandi Cottage. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.